I try to remember not to worry about unnecessary things. It's just super hard. Like, like right now, it's that I'm trying to not stress about it. But I don't know what to do with all the dog hair. Like, you know, I can't get rid of my dogs because they're part of the family. And I'm like, maybe a baby gate. But it has to be super tall because Sally can easily jump. She's a German Shepherd. Because they like the wind. They always jump on the bed all the time and still see the bed. And it's covered in dog hair, especially Snow White's white fur. Because they don't want to look out the window. So it's a really bad situation. It's really stuck. I hate it so much. I don't know what to do. But when the baby comes, I guess get a tall baby kit and they're not allowed in the room anymore because I choke on the dog hair and the dog hair is in my mouth and stuff, etc, etc. Sometimes, even if I, um, even by vacuuming all the time, it just, Snow White's hair just gets all over the place. I was thinking about shaving her bald, but it's winter now, so she'll be cold. And then I guess you could, I could try the shampoo that, like, she could less shed. I don't know why she sheds so much. She's like... Snow White has like a million hair, she loses like millions of hair every day and it's like... And then I'd wash the blankets and then, 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 you know, five minutes later they're already dirty again with all her fur and it stresses me out so bad right now because I don't know what to do. Because of the, the dog hair, like, I don't want my son to choke on that, you know, there can't be any dog hair. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, Lord Jesus, please. Holy Spirit, give me something, a remedy to fix this situation. Like, it makes me hate living here. I'm serious. Because it's like, see, this is terrible. Because at my old house, when I lived with my mom, they never were on the bed. Barely ever. Snow once in a while, but never really, because they had the windows and whatnot that they so they could just look out and just, like, you know, stand there and look out. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Try not to stress about unnecessary things. It's just, this is really, to me, stressful. I don't know what to do. Dog hair. How, the, how do you fix that solution? Like, and it's so stupid because they want you to pay like $300 just to get them, um, to get their hair cut. Well, Sally, thank goodness she's easy. She doesn't shed too much, thank God, for a German Shepherd. But Snow White, like I said, millions of hair everywhere she goes. So it's like, I don't know whether to get her shaved, but like I said, it's still gonna be like $300 because they want her to get her monthly vaccine for a hundred and something. And then, they, then they'll shave her for another hundred. And it's like, that is so expensive anywhere and everywhere. It's like, that is insane. You might as well just shave her with like Ronnie Shaver. Ugh, I don't know what to do. Uh -huh. It's like, Lord, can you just, huh, why do we have to live in the worst state ever that's not affordable? Because if it was affordable, I'd be like, me and my mom would already be moving in the house. And I, my son a room. And then baby if he wants to. Because I'm like, I can't do this. Because I'm like, because the dog's going to be allowed in the room. I'd be like, I don't want their fur around him when he's a newborn. When he's big, of course. They have playtime and all their fur and bacteria and germs. But of course not when he's little. Newborn. Especially, you know, like the first couple weeks, of course. I'm like... These are like the vital moments of his survival. Oh, guys. Mm, don't worry about unnecessary things. What? I need just, I need a fix. I need a remedy. Like, what can I come up with to get rid of Snow White's dog hair? I hate our bedding so bad. I hate our bed. I, well, I love our bed. Our bed's super comfortable for me. While well, being pregnant, I'm not comfortable anymore. Sleeping at 32 weeks pregnant, but... <laughs> I hate our blankets. And then babe just never listens to me. So it's like, it's really frustrating. I'm like, you really need to stop spending money and fixing your vehicles and parts and shit right now. I'm like, because it's not about that anymore right now. I'm like serious about, we need to get like some bedding so we could change at least the sheets and blankets more often. Cause at least that'd make me feel better because I'm like, they're filthy. They're covering Snow White's hair. It bothers me. I'm like, and our newborn baby can't have any of that hair. So it's like, <laughs> but he doesn't listen to me. And that's why sometimes I don't like him either. I love babe, but he frustrates me too. Cause it's like, you never listen. And I find it aggravating cause he'll listen to his best friend all the time, but then he won't listen to me. It's like, sure you do everything everybody else says. Well, like your best friend, etc. But I'm like, but you don't like do like, 
I could say shit and he's like, well, we'll do it later, et cetera, et cetera. It's like, this is why I don't like you sometimes. I love you, but I don't like you sometimes. Because it's like, really? You should really want to make me happy as a partner. It's like, that's a big deal in a relationship. I try to do things to make you happy. You try to do things to make me happy at least once in a while. It's like, shit, man. Like, I could ask him to do, like, one project and he'll get to it eventually. But it's like... Really? It's just frustrating to me. It's like, all we need to do, like, the one project, all I want to be done is a bookshelf. He just needs to add the shelf. We gotta sand it down. We got the spray paint today, though. And we're gonna do it dark blue for him. And then put the bookshelf in there and my books will be all set and ready. And that's all I want done because I love things done. And when they're not done, I just get anxiety and frustrated all over again. Because it's like, well, I wish I could do it myself, but I can't, right? Because I don't know how to use the sander yet and whatnot like that. I'd be like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to hammer it in and make sure I'm doing it accurately and the way it's supposed to be. No way, come here! Going too far. These dogs, like I said, I wish my mom had good health. Why out of all people in this world, too, did my mom have to have the worst house in the world? And God almost, like, God's always going to take her to heaven and kill her all the time. It's like, why my mom? It's like, Jesus, come on. All I, all we ever had was each other. And I'm like, our lives were already shitty in the first place with hardly any friends or any family. Like, we were already jinxed. Like, even her bad house just makes it a million times worse. It's like, really? Because honestly, I, I think also I need a break from these dogs. I love them, but... Being pregnant, I just feel like maybe I'm hormonal, I'm more aggravated. I just need them both to go away for a couple days. I just need a break. I just, I think I just need to be alone. I need to clean before I get, I get birth because I'm 32 weeks. And I already tidied up a bit. I still need to tidy up his, um, what is it? His potty thing. I got to put his potty pads on the, what is it? Diaper changer. I got those and it sucks because we got a the, there's a cat in the house so I don't want that cat on there too. I'm like, oh, if that cat gets on my my son's things, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's bacteria and germs. I'd be like, you gotta be kidding me. This is the one time I'm gonna hate cats too. I'm like, germs. <laughs> I don't want germs for my son. At least when he's newborn because i'm like duh that's the most vital times it's like this is the time where they could die of any germs right now when they're born so i'm like oh <laughs> but i need to clean under the vacuum sink i gotta organize it and throw things away so i could clear it out so i could clear off the top shelf because that's ugly and whatnot but thank goodness it's only ronnie and his brother but yeah they're messy never clean but i'm glad i'll just organize it myself but, um, and then I need to tidy up the room again. I tidied up the room, but I didn't feel good yesterday. I got dizzy spells. I keep getting headaches and dizzy spells, and then my stomach's so nauseated. Like, I feel like I'm going to throw up, etc. So I'm not doing, I wasn't doing too good. Thank goodness right now, and today's so far so good. I was having a decent day, just relaxing, watching shows, and I vacuumed the room, and the, my, our living room, our little thingy, where the baby stuff is at least. But I'm like, I'm just talking about the dog hair. I'm just, I need to tidy up some things. My boyfriend gets on my nerves sometimes. Because <laughs> I'm just like, I just I just want this shelf done. So once it's done, you know, at least my project is done. And his books will be there and I'll be all set and ready, at least in that area. I need to tidy up. I need to open up my our son's um, bedding now because I got a tumbler for it. Because I don't want the dog hair on it. I don't want the cat hair on it because I will freaking scream. I really will. I will scream. I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to kill all these animals. I love them, but I'm, right now I'm like, why? I, right now it's like a zero animal tolerance for my son's sake because of the germs. But it's like, it's like, it's gonna be okay, Alicia. Don't overthink things and don't overstress things. Don't worry about unnecessary things. I'm like, I'm trying. Don't worry about unnecessary things. Yay. <sighs> I might just be sleepy too and grumpy and hormonal. Probably. I'm pregnant, duh. Oh, so time to walk back. At least thank goodness today too. Like I said, it's not freezing out here. It's not, cause we never get snow or rain right here in California, especially being in the valley in California where we live. But um, it's been super icy and freezing, 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 freezing. And then today it's actually 
feels really good. It's not that freezing yet until tonight when we're getting up there again. But yeah, it's apparently it's gonna be a freezing winter because it's already gotten pretty cold already. It's just um, it just started in the end like of October and it's already November, almost mid-November now. <laughs> Lord help me. I'm trying not to get aggravated, Father. God in heaven, just help me. I need a solution for the dog. And once I find that, I'll actually feel much better. I can calm down a little bit more. 